In this video, we'll cover 13 reasons why the youth mental health crisis might be happening. By the end of this video, I'll reveal the one possible reason that seems to be holding up over time as a valid scientific theory. If you've been struggling with your mental health, this video will speak into your question of why. Why might you be experiencing what you've been experiencing? My name is Dr. Park. I'm a psychologist for youth and here at Through the Waters, we nurture youth mental health. This video was inspired by a conversation happening among researchers as to why the youth mental health crisis might be occurring. Dr. Jean Twangy is an expert researcher in this area and she recently wrote a post about 13 possible reasons why the youth mental health crisis might be happening. It wasn't until I went to write the title of this video that I had a moment of like, OMG, 13 reasons why. Dr. Twangy was exploring 13 reasons why from a scientific standpoint. And ironically, 13 reasons why was the name of a book and a Netflix show about a teenage girl who committed suicide. I'm really not sure what to do with that, but I wanted to share that insight with you, especially if you have watched the show. Now, different researchers studying the youth mental health crisis have arrived at differing conclusions based on their own data over time. So it's important that we keep in mind that Dr. Twenge's viewpoint is one of many possible viewpoints from a scientific perspective. And I'm not even sharing it because I agree or disagree. I've kind of removed my ego and my opinions from this to just um, share with you these hypotheses and what she's concluded because I find her conclusions intriguing and challenging, so I wanted to share them with you. I also realize not everyone is as much of a nerd as I am about this research and data and trying to understand this crisis at a really high level, so I'm going to briefly name each of these 13 hypotheses for you, but I'm going to zip through them, and if you'd like to read more about them, you can read her post, which I've provided a link to in the description below. I'll also link to her website so you can check out more regarding her wonderful work, including books that she's written on this topic. And no, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I don't have sponsors. I just found this research really fascinating. So here we go. These are the 13 possible explanations for the youth mental health crisis that Dr. Twangy explored in her post. These are like arguments that people make as explanations, hypotheses for the crisis. Number one. People are now more willing to seek help, so there's not really an increase in depression. Number two, more teens are okay with saying they're not okay. Number three, it's because of the COVID pandemic and lockdowns. Number four, it's about the economy, stupid. These are direct quotes, okay? <laughs> I didn't add the stupid part, I'm quoting. It's about the economy, stupid. Number five, Social media's impact is too small to have caused the rise in depression. Number six, it's because children and teens have less independence. Number seven, it's because of school shootings. Number eight, it's because of climate change. And there's a twin to number eight, which is, it's because we live in a postmodern hellscape. That's my personal favorite, by the way, the postmodern hellscape. Uh, number nine, it's due to increased academic pressure and too much homework. Number 10, suicide rates were higher in the 1990s when there was no social media, so this is just part of a cycle that occurs over time. Number 11, it's because teens don't have places to hang out anymore. Number 12, it's because of the opioid epidemic. Number 13, parents are more depressed and troubled. So I'm not saying that those are true. I'm saying these are hypotheses that people have, hunches that they are exploring in terms of why the youth mental health crisis might be happening. In her post, Dr. Twingy explores all 13 of these hypotheses, looking at decades upon decades of data to see whether the data is consistent with any of these hypotheses. Spoiler alert. She basically refutes all 13 of these possible explanations regarding why the youth mental health crisis is happening. Based on her research, 
Her overarching conclusion is that the only real explanation that is holding up over time across countries is that the rise of the youth mental health crisis coincides with the rise of smartphone and social media use. Correlation is not causation. When two things occur at the same time in time, that doesn't mean they caused each other. But apparently we are also now seeing causal data that supports this link. In other words, that the rise in the use of cell phones and social media might actually be causing this mental health crisis. In sharing this conclusion with you, I'm actually sharing a conclusion that I don't like. I'm sort of putting my ego on the shelf here because I'm a huge fan of technology. I do think it's a double-edged sword that we can use for great good or great evil or anything in between. So it kind of pains me to say that the rise in technology and social media use seems to be a scientifically valid theory as to why the youth mental health crisis might be happening. However, that's the theory that seems most consistent with the data that we have over the past few decades, according to Dr. Twenge at this point in time. And by the way, I'm recording this in 2024. I hope this scientific insight is helpful for you in making sense of your own experiences regarding mental health. If you found this video valuable, please click the like and subscribe buttons so that you don't miss out on our future mental health tips and education, and also so that more people who might benefit from this information can find it on YouTube more easily. Please also check out Dr. Dr. Twangy's work in the links below if you'd like to learn more. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have thoughts you'd like to share on the mental health crisis.